ladies and gentlemen, I welcome you back to another episode of Effort Friday here on the channel. And this week, I'm going back into my childhood years again on the Sega Genesis. And I feel like beating up some people, especially after the last couple of weeks, you know, with work and everything of this sort. It's like sometimes you just want to beat some ass. And when I want to beat some ass, I come to this series here. Street Fighter 2, we're playing the Special Champion Edition on the Sega Genesis. Sorry about that. I was going to cough up a lung there for a second if I didn't do anything to stop that. Uh, but basically, it's Street Fighter on the Sega Genesis. Uh, there was two versions released on the Super Nintendo, the original Street Fighter 2 and then Street Fighter 2 Turbo. So from there, um, in regards to that, uh, I don't think Genesis, yeah, that was pretty much it. So just Special Champion Edition, which contains both the Champion Edition and Hyper Fighting, uh, basically Street Fighter 2 Turbo. So you have both versions available to you, but in Hyper, you can just crank this son of a bitch really high. And from there, it goes like really, really fast. And if I'm not, if I'm not quick enough, then it'll you know start the demonstration uh you know let's kick it up to four stars hyper you know it's called champion edition but we are going to play it. you can play versus there is a group mode as well a tournament mode if you will if you're playing with the second player but we're just going to start the game here and i'm just going to pick my character and you know what uh crazily enough i'm just going to stick everything's on normal settings and you know i gotta i gotta I gotta stick with my man Ryu here. I love my Shoto clones. I really do. Yeah, and basically there's a couple of differences too between the champion version and the hyper version. Uh, hyper fighting, you know, some characters gain new moves. Like Chun-Li has that new fireball there, uh, which was present only in the... Uh, Present in the uh, started off in uh, Street Fighter 2 uh, Turbo uh, on that one. I'm trying. Okay, you know what? Get out of here. Uh, but yeah, Street Fighter. If you play the champion uh, version of this, uh, Chung Li doesn't have that fireball. So you know, basically whatever uh, you got in Champion Edition, you got in Champion Edition. Whatever came in Turbo, you got in Turbo. Like Ryu's uh, Air Hurricane Kick here. I believe that was just that was a thing not until you know hyper fighting it wasn't a champion edition i don't believe because basically i think the difference between well the differences with that ryu got in between the og and champion edition is that ooh. come on fuck wrong button wrong button there we go <laughs> i was getting worried for a second but yeah, uh, basically, uh, Champion Edition is where Ryu and Ken have their differences between like Fireball and uh, Dragon Punch. Ryu is more fo Fireball focus. Ken got the Dragon Punch powers. Uh, USSR. Luckily though, thankfully, the you know the AI is basically the same AI as it is in the arcade. Uh, but basically, the difference between difficulties uh, in this in this versions, or at least in the Super Nintendo ports and the Genesis ports of this game. Uh, basically, the only difference between difficulty is the amount of damage you deal and the amount of damage you take. The higher the difficulty, the more damage that you take. Basically, it'll take like 15 hits to destroy the computer, and you can die in like four. So, you just want to be careful with that one. I forgot that the punch buttons are the normal standard here. Uh, L, X, and R, if you're playing this on a Switch Online service like I am, are the normal punches. Y, B, and A are your kicks. You can't change it in the options menu, of course. But I spent a lot of hours in childhood playing this, that's for sure. Man. I was on the Genesis, and it was just like, I remember my cousins playing it, his friend came over, and they were just whooping each other's asses in Street Fighter all the time. It was fun to watch, too, I remember. Then I just played for myself, and I wanted to learn how to, you know, do the controls, do the motions, and stuff like that. And a buddy of my cousin's uh, at the time, old family friend, uh, was like, he was just giving me like little like lessons. I was like, I was a teenager, and he was like, I oh, just do it like this and all that stuff, and I just put it into practice really, and then you know got better over the years. So, thanks, dude. Appreciate you teaching me how to play. All right, there we go. 
I gotta remember the AI in this one is not like Ultra Street Fighter 2. Because if I go back to Street Fighter for the most part, it's either usually with, I guess, with hyper fighting or with Ultra Street Fighter 2. I don't go back to Turbo all that much in any way, shape, or form. So I usually stick to Ultra Street Fighter 2 or I'll just stick to like Street Fighter 2 hyper fighting. Because basically those are the best iterations between uh, their original Street Fighter series and of course the Super Series. Bonus stage! Gonna destroy a nice little Mercedes here. Or is this a Lexus? Who knows? Either way, it's gone now because, yeah, that's... Oof. Ryu, your legs must be made of titanium. Or adamantum, or something of a sort. 30,000 point bonus if you manage to perfect the bonus stage. Just for additional points, really. Mirror battle, and we're gonna have a Hadouken battle. I. I could spam it too. I'm playing like the computer. And that was one round of the Hadouken battle. Time for round two. That's all I heard throughout my childhood. Hadouken, Hadouken, Hadouken. <laughs> I was just recreating it. <laughs> oh, this is wonderful. Oh, man. But, yeah. That was always fun. Uh, but, yeah. It, uh, but, yeah. I played it a lot during my childhood years. I actually played it uh, later on during my teenager years. Uh, in my early adulthood years. Thanks to, like, the whole... Uh, plug and play series basically early 2000s to the late 2000s you got these individual systems the plug and play TV series uh, you basically audio video you connect it to your television it's usually like a joystick usually of different properties uh, I think Atari started with the first and then like it started off with like video games uh, like with Atari or something like that just to like get some of the old school feeling back uh, but then it just blew up in popularity afterwards. You had, like, Pac-Man ones. You had uh, Street... There was one for Street Fighter. I actually have a couple of them myself. Uh, I do have a uh, Namco one that's shaped like an arcade joystick. It has multiple uh, Bandai Namco games on it. Uh, Pac-Man, Miss Pac-Man, Dig Dug, Galaga, Pole Position. Oh, I still have one of those. Uh, but Street Fighter 2 actually had one of these. And it came with an additional game. Another game that I played for FF Friday, Ghost and Goblins. I'll probably put something in the end of the card here for, for that one if you want to check it out because it is a little bit, you know, Ghosts and Goblins or Ghouls and Ghosts. No, it was Ghouls and Ghosts. The, the, it was the Genesis uh, version of Ghosts and Goblins, basically. Good Lord, Blanca! How many lines did you do, Blanca? Yes! Oof! Come on. Who else close? Okay. Damn. <laughs> like, 
Blanca was whooping ass there for a minute. Holy shit. Get off, get off, get off, get off. Beautiful. Second bonus stage of three, a brick stage. This is exclusive to the console ports. Uh, this stage was not, uh, this bonus stage was not in the arcade port. Basically, it replaced uh, an additional stage with the sky background, basically with a Zangief stage, but with a blue sky background, and you was breaking flaming barrels. Uh, that bonus game did not make its way over to the U.S. We ended up getting this brick game instead. It's it's now time for America. Let me see if I could exploit this a little bit. Hold on. Oh, I did not mean to jump straight up. Yeah, I'm a little... You can exploit the AI. You can exploit Guile's AI. Basically, if you do a short Dragon Punch from a distance, he'll automatically do the Flash Kick, and then you can use that to go in and... Uh, you can do that and just toss him like that. Of course, you don't want to jump into it when he does uh, the punch here. Son of a bitch. Okay, you ruined my perfect. How dare you ruin my perfect. Come on. Come on. I'll take it. <laughs> I'll take it. I forgot the timer goes down a little faster because of the hyper setting. From the military base to San Francisco, here we go. Fuck you. Basically, he's going to spam the fuck out of that Shoryuken, the Dragon Punch. Basically, you can counter with the throw. Yeah, but if you don't, if you know, if you just let him just go all willy nilly, he's gonna constantly hit you with a barrage of dragon punches. Basically, that's his spam version of reuse fireballs. Oh! Damn it! So apparently, uh, hyper uh, high. Uh, a high dragon punch is not a knockdown in hyper fighting. And yeah, oh my god, yeah, we're actually near the end of Ryu's run here. Okay. Yeah, let's get through the rest of it. Why? Now we got plenty of time. Yeah, Balrog, I mean, he for sure just loves to just. Damn it. Use the fireballs, keep them at bay. Straight jab to the face, I'll take it. That's cool. It's amazing how much, uh, how they were able to pack so much into, oh, red fireball, that is actually a glitch. The red fireball is actually a glitch. Uh, the red fireball wouldn't be a thing until Super Street Fighter. So the next game after this, the next uh, version of Street Fighter after this. But in order to do the red fireball, I believe it was a half circle. And I think you had to do a half circle back. Barrels! Destroy the barrels with your feet. 
I said destroy it with your feet. Not going to get the perfect now because I let that one go. Oh, well. The reason I got in this street fighter to begin with. All right, you fl flippy fucker, let's go! Okay, come on. Woo! You almost came down pretty hard on that one. Perfect! Get away. There we go. Okay, cool. I got him. That's all that matters. Whoo. Oh, you. Yeah. Tell you, man, Vegas a flippy. <laughs> He's a crazy motherfucker. I love him. Tiger! Come on. Really? Oh, come on. I wanted to dragon punch him like in the original. How do you think he got the scar on his chest? <laughs> Fuck you. Fuck you. Look at that. Two dragon punches and I'm already like two thirds of my health down. <laughs> them, them fucking tiger punches are no joke. Are oh, you fucking kidding me, Bison? Ay, ay, ay. Oh, Bison! I never understood how that worked, but I'll take it. Fuck you. Fuck. Oh, shit, 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 shit. I was done for. Uh, there was no way I could have avoided it. Don't get too close, Bison. I know you're trying to go for that throw. Like that. I'll take it. Yeah, that takes care of that. That's reuse ending right there. That's a whole run through. And that's a whole play. That's a full LP right there as well.
And yes, because I did play it on normal settings, unfortunately, it's not going to present the um, it's not going to present the normal endings that you would or like the additional credit sequence. You get your normal ending, of course, but that is going to do it for this episode of F it Friday for some Street Fighter Special Champion Edition. Nice to relive a little bit of my childhood and always a fun time to go back and enjoy those times and enjoy beating the shit out of the computer when it kept whooping my ass. But that's going to do it for this week for F it Friday. We'll continue next week with our regularly scheduled programming. And until next time for some more F it. Thank you for watching. Hope you have yourselves a fantabulous day. Love, peace, and chicken grease. Good night.